guys today we solve all the problems that we've been having i've been receiving a lot of complaints via my email i've been receiving a lot of complaints via my twitter and i think we should really solve all these problems today once and for all yeah for example this side and side there's uh, the side by side configuration is incorrect we're going to solve this problem here like most of you guys have been facing uh, this problem and we shall also solve the problem of uh, the problem where you guys uh, fail to configure your devices after that setting up a Wi-Fi password and all that. Uh, we shall solve all those problems. So we start with solving the side by side. You open the Visual C, then I just extract this here. Then after extracting the Visual C, you uh, right click on it then run it as an administrator after running it as an administrator select yes then uh, after extracting do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you're new here do not forget to subscribe to our channel uh, this is just showing us on how to solve problems if you really want to know how to unlock you can reward the videos so we shall continue just by pressing uh, with the Y for installation in case you want to cancel the installation that's when you press N but since we want to install we shall press the Y so that then give it some time to install all the packages so by installing all these visual C packages the reason why it does it, it brings the side-by-side -side error is because uh, it's uh, maybe your Visual C is not supported by the application. So this is the exact Visual C that will be supported. So by installing it, uh, it will make your machine ready. So as you can run the application on as the one that will help us in changing the firmware of our device. So we shall install all the packages. So it's installing all the packages you just give it some time and it will install all the 18 packages when the installer is complete you press any key to exit just like that then this time when we run our package run it as an administrator you'll discover that instead of bringing the side by side error it will automatically uh, it will automatically open up our application by requesting us to put the password and all the credentials that are required so it has opened up now that problem is fixed the side-by-side -side problem is now fixed so uh, let's open our password uh, then let's copy this our name so let's paste it here Then let's copy our key. Then paste our key. Then paste our key here. Then let's click register. Let's give it some time. Oh, it's not working i think we've made some mistake somewhere is it let's give it some time and see whether it will open yeah we shall then copy our password after it was opened let's try opening it again i think let's try opening it again because uh what i'm seeing is like we kind of messed up somewhere in putting the credentials that are required so in case this error comes or comes like when it fails to open you you have to put the credentials again so let's put the credentials again by opening the same file we shall use wi-fi fix one but in case of any problem you can always use wi-fi fix two uh, maybe in case you, you can also use the mf9 to seven new all the green the the applications in green will help you work solve different problems so uh, let's try again let's copy our username
then let's copy our password. Today we're doing each and everything so quick so that so that each and every, each and everything is solved in this single video. In case you really want it in summary, you you check the previous videos. So we shall also just copy this the password. by pressing ok it means we are ready to go so uh, now the other problem that we are going to solve are the missing demo drivers so now if you check our device manager our computer management the device manager you'll discover that we're not seeing the demo drivers so how do we solve this problem uh, so you open our application and you click update and you look at our computer management then you you just check via action then you scan for hardware changes while it's updating so you'll discover that it has started setting up the demo mobile broadband drivers then these are our drivers ready for installation so we shall just uh, install by selecting the drivers but now you will discover that it is failing to install and the reason why it's failing to install because we need to uh, enforce drivers to install minus their signatures we need to force them to install minus their signatures windows encountered a problem installing the drivers for your device so we need to enforce uh, but for that I already I already made a video about it so you can check on how to unlock this device using uh, Windows 10 so I'm not going to go through that again uh, let me I'll skip that part I'll just skip that part because it needs us to restart a computer and so and you restart by pressing shift and restart shift and restart but I'm going to skip that part yeah let's just yeah let's continue uh i've already i've now set my device to install drivers minus their signatures so uh, i'll just go and open up my tool since i've already done that in case you do not know how to do that please go watch my video on how to unlock this device using windows 10. those videos are there and i've also put a link in the description in our description So let's first open computer management so that we install our drivers so we give it some time because I've just restarted this computer then select device manager uh, then uh, you right click on this demo mobile driver then click on update then browse then we just select next since we had already selected now this time it will install so this problem is also solved problem of missing demo drivers is now solved then you close close that again now let's open our mf927 new package then yeah sorry let's go back let's open our package yeah so in case in case you try installing and one brings an error with the network i did a video on that so i think you all know how to solve that error so let's open our password So for me, I'm going to use Wi-Fi Fix 1. I'm actually going to use Wi-Fi Fix 1. So I'll just right click on it or double click on it, whatever. Then I run it as an administrator. Okay. 
yes oh you have i've opened it two times so yeah it's already there so this time i'll just put the password because it remembers the username and the key so we shall just put the password yeah okay give it some time it has opened now we shall just click on update In case you have network problems, you check on the video on how to solve that problem. I've already made that problem. I've already made a solution to that. In case you have that problem, you can always check for that previous video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. I am Mwagara. You just search I am Mwagara or Mwagara Book Joel. So I think it's changing our dashboard. Yeah, basically so uh, it has finished uninstalling the previous dashboard and it has installed the new dashboard so it has, it's now installing the new dashboard setup on the computer yeah I think we're almost done here yeah our update has been successful so kong's guys we've successfully updated our device so uh, let's try doing some other configurations i'll click on settings i will put our password admin is the password default password is admin then click login yeah uh, so since we haven't put a sim card it's bringing a no sim card error but already our device is unlocked uh, so click on agree then settings yeah in case of anything APN settings you can check on the previous video in case you do not know how to configure the APN uh, maybe the other thing I was forgetting is about the Wi-Fi people, some people complain it has changed name what what so you just click on Wi-Fi, then you go to uh, basic settings, then the ne network name, SSID, is where you put the name you want your device to be called. That's where you put your name. Then uh, via password, just down here is where you put the password. You can always use display password so as to see the password or to see what you're typing. After doing all that, you just scroll down and apply. Basically, I think uh, that's it. Thank you very much. That's it. Thank you very much.